what's up? It's William from Rocket Zero, and in this video, we're gonna be building a Gumball Watterson head from the amazing world of Gumball. Now, I got this pattern from CandyPatterns.com, description down below. So, for this little guy, we're gonna be needing some light blue, black, white, cyan, and then some red wool. So, we're gonna begin this pit sort by lining up and placing 17 black wool. So, here we go. We're gonna place 17 of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then finally 17. So after you have your big row of 17 black wools, we're going to move on towards the left. We're going to grab our light blue wool. We're going to place one light blue, then two black wools, one light blue, and then another two black wool. So make sure you guys have this for the start of your gumball. Gumball Waterson head. Sounds like I'm saying water and then sun, not water sun. I don't know. Doesn't sound right, but whatever. Make sure you guys have this so far. And then what we're gonna do is set over here, we're gonna add two diagonal black wools just like that. Then we're gonna add a light blue here with a black wool on the left. And we need to add another three diagonal black wools here, so it ends up being four. So here we go. We're gonna have one, two, three and then four then we're gonna grab our light blue wool we're gonna place two light blue wools with two black wools and then two diagonal black wools just like that then we're gonna add a light blue with three black wools going up and this is what the bottom left part of his face should look like. It'll look a lot better once we fill it in. Actually, let's go ahead and just fill in a little bit so it's easier to see. Because if you have those empty blocks, it's just going to throw you off. So here we go. That's what this bottom left part should look like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what we're going to do next is that we're going to grab our light blue. And we're going to go up by five light blue. So there we go. It should be five. And then we can add five black holes on the left. So one, two, three, four, five. Now on top of this five light blues, we're gonna place four black wools. So one, two, three, four, with an additional two black wools on the left side. This would be a great stepping point. Remember to feel free to just hit pause whenever you need to. Because I'm going to be taking a big step back, allowing you guys to have an opportunity to hit pause and just catch up. If you need just a little bit of that extra building time in case I'm going too quickly, I don't want to leave anybody behind. So feel free to stop the video whenever you need to. That way you control the speed of the video and I don't have to worry about going too slow or too fast. Alright, so what we're going to do next is that right here we're going to have two diagonal black wools just like that. Then we're going to add two light blues with two black wools and then three black wools on the right side and then one little black wool on the bottom left. So I know that looks really complicated, but I'm going to stop it here for just a couple seconds. All right, awesome. And then what we're going to do next is that right here, we're going to go up by four light blues so that we can place four black wools on the left side. Just like that. And then four black wools moving towards the right. Then we're going to add a light blue with two black wools going towards the right. And then we're going to add a light blue here. And that's going to be his finished left ear. Now what we're going to do next is that we're going to grab our black wool and we're going to place 14 black wools attaching it to the right of this light blue. So here we go. We're going to place 14 black wools. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now up here, we need to add a bit of detail. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then on this third block, 
we're gonna add a black wool a light blue and another black wool so leave a gap of two and then place your black your light blue and then your black again then we're gonna add four light blues with a black wool on the left and four black wools on the top And then we're gonna add a black wool here. And you wanna make sure this is a gap of four. So one, two, three, four. Let's delete that. We were just counted. Oh no, I broke it. But yeah, if this is a gap of four, you've done it correctly. So let's take a big step back. This is what we have so far. Pause it if you need to. This would be a fantastic stopping point in this video. Now we're going to go down here and add just a little bit of detail. What we're going to do is that over here, we're going to add a light blue with a black on the right and on the left. Then we're going to add a light blue with a black, a light blue with a black. So it ends up being three diagonal black wools. Then we're gonna grab our light blue again. We're gonna place a light blue with a black on the right and on the top. And then starting right here, we're gonna go up by five. So one, two, three, four, five with our light blue. And then on the right side, we're gonna go up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. We need to add two more diagonal black wools here. So just like that. That way if you count them, it's going to end up being four. Now up here, we're going to have two diagonal black wools. So one and two. And then let's add one more light blue on the left of that second diagonal black wool. Now on top of this light blue, we're going to go up by seven black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then a light blue with two black wools on top. Then we're going to add a light blue with a black two light blues and then two more black wools and this is going to be the finished outline of our gumball watterson head from the amazing world of gumball now we still need to add the face and a bunch of details so let's get to that we're going to go over here and we're going to add three black wools a light blue a black and then another three black wools on the bottom So now down here is going to be the start of one of his eyes. So what we're going to do is that we're going to grab our black wool. We're going to place three white wools with a black on the right and on the left. I think I said we're going to grab our black, but we're going to grab our white wool. We're going to place those three white wools with a black on each side. Then we're going to place a light blue. And below this light blue, we're going to go straight down by six black wools. There we go. Same thing on the left side, so we're going to add a light blue, and we're going to go down by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now in the middle here, we're going to go down by six again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the right side, we're going to go down by four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to do the same thing on the left side. So one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and add three more white wools on the bottom. With a black wool on the right, on the left, and then also on the bottom. 
and that's going to be one of his eyes. We're going to go ahead and fill it in with white wool. Actually, no, let's do it now. Let's go ahead and fill it in now. So it looks a bit nicer because it looks super creepy with all those empty blocks. So there we go. Once we fill it in with white wool, that's going to be one of his eyes. And it looks really good. Really happy with how that turned out. So now let's get a little bit of work done on the mouth and then we'll do the final eye. So what we're going to do is that we're going to grab a light blue here. And then we're going to place two black wools with two cyan wools on the bottom. Then we're going to place a black with a red and a black. Then we're going to place a black wool on the right with five across the bottom below the cyan wool. So one, two, three, four, five. Over here, we're going to add one, two, three, four with our cyan wool. Then we're going to add a black, a white, a black, and then three black wools on the left side. Uh-oh. No, we did that wrong. Let me start it over. We're going to place a black, a white, a black wool. And then next to this white, we're going to place three black wools going up. So that's how it should look like. Sorry about the little mistake. You know, sometimes everyone makes mistakes. And then on top of the cyan, towards the right, we're going to go ahead and place five black wools. And now all we need to do is do the other eye. So here we go. We're going to place a light blue in this little corner with three black wools and three white wools. Then we're going to place a black on the right of the white and on the left of the white. Now in the middle here, we're going to go up by six black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to go down by four on each side. So one, two, three, four. And same thing on the left. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to place a white here and here. And then on the top, we're going to surround this with white wool, just like that. So that we can place three black wools on the top and one on each side of the white. We can grab our white wool now. I'm just going to go straight down like so in between those two black wools and this side as well. Just fill it in with some white wool. Then we're going to grab our black and we're going to place six black wools on the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six on the right side. And then we're also going to do six on the left side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we take a big step back, we're actually done. The only thing we have left to do is just to fill it in with light blue like you see on the finished pit slurred on the left. So I'm just going to stop it here so you can see how you need to fill it in. Super easy. It's just going to be our light blue wool. So that said, positive, you need a little, bit, a little bit of extra time to fill it in. And just, I'm going to start saying goodbye. So thank you so much for watching. This was William from Rocket Zero. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't so you can stay up to date with all our newest videos. And as always, just thank you so, so much for watching. Tell your friends about us to help us grow this little channel of ours. And just thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.